Thank you, James. Zosan, good morning. Dajaha. I am pleased to be here in support of the bill to ban shark fin in California. I think it's important to note that James and I come from Los Angeles and San Diego, the two largest port of entry of shark fin. As residents of these coastal areas and as proud Asian Americans, we are pleased to join with prominent Asian Pacific Americans who have joined the Alliance. We are passionate about saving the ocean and its ecosystem for the next generation. Over 4,000 years of Chinese philosophy emphasizes the importance of preserving harmony between humanity and nature. The ancient Chinese idiom on the Alliance logo, translates to nature, humans, togetherness as one. This illustrates the deep cultural significance of conservation of the Chinese people. Chinese religious beliefs do not support unchecked consumption of shark fin. Approximately 30% of Chinese people are Taoists. Tao is the path that we follow towards compassion, balance, and to live in harmony with nature. Approximately 20% of Chinese people are Buddhists, and their belief is that suffering is caused by desire and craving. Another 4% of Chinese people are Christians, and 2% are Muslims. Shark fin consumption is not part of their core beliefs or tradition. That means over 50% of religions in China do not support the concept of cruelty and wastefulness that is exemplified by the shark fin industry. I grew up in Hong Kong where shark fin soup is a delicacy associated with prestige and wealth. But the knowledge of the cruel finning practice that condemns millions of sharks to slow, agonizing deaths left a very bad taste in my mind. Cruelty has no place in the Chinese culture. The APA community must help reduce the consumption of shark fin in order to protect the ocean ecosystem that keeps our environment in balance. It is imperative for Asian Pacific Americans who are concerned about protecting Earth's resources to speak up in support of the ban on shark fin. We are proud to work with mainstream organizations like the Monterey Bay Aquarium, the Humane Society of the United States, Heal the Bay, Oceana, Natural Resources Defense Council, and Wild Aid on this important issue. Thank you very much for your time. Now it's my pleasure to introduce the founder and executive director of Wild Aid, Mr. Peter Knights.